Hello everyone, a warm welcome to all of you on EduTap and a very important session of the CT360 series in which we will be covering the most important GA and ESI current affairs for the 3rd to 4th of November 2023 and a very special topic that I have brought here for all of you is the National Efficient Cooking Program. So today we are going to cover so many topics which are relevant for both phase 1 and the phase 2 of the exams but before that let's discuss the homework questions that have been asked to you in the previous session of our, this series. So the question was on the 6th edition of International Solar Alliance and my dear friends the right answer to this question is option D that is all the statements which are being mentioned here are absolutely correct regarding this particular part. Apart from that the next particular question was about the state which are not the top five states with the highest share of accidents and fatalities in 2022 and the right answer to this question is option c that is st statement number three and five rajasthan and gujarat which are not among the top five states and my dear friends all the people who have answered these questions correctly these are the shining stars of edutap and here is the complete list of all the shining stars you can see here shreyashi saurish Preet, Kritika, Kara, Kavya, Harshdeep, Similsa. So all the people, my dear friends, congratulations to all of you as you are the shining stars of EduTab. And please make sure that you are keeping up the momentum. Just make sure that your preparation is on the right track. And for that, we are bringing such kind of series for all of you, which are really going to help you in your exam. Now, when I talk about the today's session, my dear friends, these are the topics that we are going to cover, which are some topics are relevant for only phase one and some of them are relevant for both phase one and phase two. So in the phase one, we will be covering the conferences, dialogues and summits, which have been taken place recently, the foundations, uh, day of the various states which have been celebrated recently then we have the first international cruise liner of india apart from that the mou which has been signed between eci and moe and the national efficient cooking program so these are the topics that we will be discussing in the today's session let's begin the session with the very first topic and the very first topic are the topics which are relevant for only phase one of the exam and the first topic is basically fifth edition of icc sustainability conclave 2023 so my dear friends this particular conclave will act as a platform it will act as a platform in which all the senior officers organizations whether they are global companies or the indian companies they will be sitting together they will be discussing the issues which they are facing in the chemical industry and how we can make it sustainable and that is why this fifth edition of icc sustainability conclave 2023 has been taken place and let me tell you that it was being hosted by the department of chemicals and fertilizers and department of chemical and petrochemicals under the Ministry of Chemical and Fertilizer and the Indian Chemical Council. So these two organizations are important to be covered that these two organizations will together basically are uh, hosting this particular conclave. When I talk about the theme of this conclave, the theme is integrating sustainability and business strategy for the chemical industry addressing challenges and opportunities. As I told you that all the challenges, the issues which are being faced by these industries will be catered in this particular conclave. Now my dear friend, let's move on to the next important summit which has been taken place that is the g20 standard dialogue so we all know that india is presently having the g20 presidency let me tell you that india got the g20 presidency from indonesia and next year it will be moving towards it will be handed to the brazil so my dear friends let me tell you that g20 standard dialogue has been started under the india's presidency when i talk about this particular uh, dialogue it was basically uh, hosted by the bureau of indian standards under the aegis of india g20 presidency agar hum baat karte hain isko organize kiske sath kiya gaya tha it was organized in collaboration with ministry of consumer affairs food and public distribution and the ministry of commerce and industry so my dear friends these are the organizing organizations which are responsible for organizing this particular G20 standards dialogue. When I talk about the theme of this particular dialogue, because we all know that in the exams, the theme as well as the organizing uh, bodies are being asked in the exam. So let me tell you that the theme for this particular part is zero defect, zero effect, which is basically the theme of G20 standard dialogue. So this was the second dialogue that was required to be discussed in the today's session. Let's move on to the third dialogue. Third dialogue is basically launched by the Quality Council of India, which has hosted international convention on sustainable trade and standards 
So my dear friends, this has been organized by the Indian National Platform on Private Sustainability Standard and it was hosted by the Quality Council of India in association with United Nations Forum on Sustainability. So these are the information that you are required to remember from the exam point of view. But let me tell you that during this particular conference, what exactly happened is Quality Council of India has signed an MOU with the African Organization for Standardization Cooperation in the sustainability standard ecosystem basically what they are trying to do is to regulatory environment across the world usko standardize karne ki baat ki ja rahi hai that they want to standardize the regulatory environment across the world and that is why this particular kind of conclave or we can say the conference was being held recently so my dear friends apart from that let's move on to the next important part there was a india manufacturing show which was held in the bangalore this was the sixth edition of this india manufacturing show under which the different organizations have showcased their technologies which are related to the robotics defense and the other important industries apart from that when i talk about this particular part so the theme uh, with which under which this india manufacturing show was being conducted was make in india and make for the world so this was the central theme of this particular part and this was organized by laghu udyog bharati and ims foundation and it was supported by the department of defense production under the ministry of Di defense so my dear friends these are all the important summits uh, conferences and the dialogues but still one important summit is being left that is world's first artificial intelligence safety summit which has started in United Kingdom and let me tell you that different countries have participated in it like India, US, France, Singapore and others. So my dear friends when I talk about this particular summit, this summit has been taken place basically in order to identify the different kind of advantages that artificial intelligence brings and about also about the safety measures which can be brought into the artificial intelligence. So when I talk about the venue of this particular summit, it was held in Bletchley Park in the Buckinghamshire. So my dear friends, it is having a very very important significant in the history as well because it was the base for World War II code breaking operations. Let me tell you that nowadays in the as per the recent exam trends, they are asking such kind of questions, their historic significance or the other important thing that people tend to forget. So please make sure that you are covering such kind of information as well from the exam point of view. I hope this part is very much clear to all of you. Apart from that, my dear friends, on November 1, all the nations who have participated in the AI Safety Summit, they have basically signed a Blashley Declaration. And this document underscores the importance of aligning the artificial intelligence systems with the human intentions and encourages in-depth exploration of the full potential of artificial intelligence and that was the main reason that why AI summit has taken place. I hope that this particular news article is very clear to all of you. So with this part we have covered so many kind of conferences, dialogues and summits which are oftenly being asked in the exam and I hope that this quick revision of all such kind of topics was really beneficial for all of you. Let's move on to the next important part. So let me tell you my dear friends that on 1st of November on 1st of November, total of 8 states and 5 Indian Union territories have basically celebrated their foundation day. So all of them are basically, there were 8 states which are Punjab, Haryana, Chhattisgarh, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Kerala, Madhya Pradesh and Tamil Nadu. So these are the 8 states which have celebrated their foundation day on 1st of November this year. Apart from that, there are 5 Union territories which have also celebrated their foundation day this 1st November. These are... Chandigarh, Andaman, Nicobar Islands, Delhi, Lakshadweep and Puducherry. So my dear friends, these are the five union territories and eight states which have recently celebrated their foundation day on the 1st of November 2023. I hope this is clear to all of you. Let's move on to the another important part and that is Recently, a minister has flagged off the domestic sailing of the first international cruise liner with jiska naam hai Costa Serena. So Costa Serena is India's is first international cruise liner. The name is Costa Serena. Let me tell you, please make sure that you remember this name. This has basically been flagged off from the Mumbai and the name of such kind of places jahan se flagging off ki gai hai aur saath saath. Uh, what is the name? They are really very important to be covered from the exam point of view. Apart from that, a very important target was also being mentioned regarding that that is the aim of India which aims to achieve 50 million cruise passengers by 2047 a very very important point because this can
can be asked in the exam and this target was also discussed a lot of times when the global maritime summit was taking place recently so my dear friends these are all the important ga uh, topics that we were required to discuss in the today's session which are only relevant for phase one of the exam now let's move on to the topics which are relevant for phase two and here is the very very important topic the first one that is a uh, mou which has been signed between election commission of india and the ministry of education so when i talk about this particular topic so my dear friends we have seen that in the previous year a very great concern which has been faced by the election commission of india is the lack of voting that means the out of the total uh, valid voters that we have in our country only few people are voting and that is really a very major concern which has been faced by the election commission of india although we are celebrating the governments are taking place governments are basically coming up but still but still we are facing this particular issue of lack of voting among the people and that is the reason my dear friends let me give you a very important data that as uh, as per the general elections of 2019 lok sabha elections ki agar hum baat karte hain to yahan pe 910 million valid votes mein se sirf 267 voters have not casted their vote during the general election of 2019 and that is the reason that election of commission of india has basically decided that we will be coming up with such kind of program in which we will be making the people aware and we will just try that from the formative ages only we will be ingraining the value of casting their vote among the indian people and what is that particular age that is when the people are in the schools or the colleges and that is why my dear friends election commission of india has signed an mou with the ministry of education to bring electoral literacy to the classrooms across the country or what they will be doing that the people who are in the स्कूल दैट इज सिक्स टू ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड के जो स्टूडेंट्स हैं उनके लिए यहां पर इलेक्ट्रल लिटरेसी को लेकर जाया जाएगा उनके करिकुलम फ्रेमवर्क में उसको इंक्लूड किया जाएगा एंड दिस विल बी डन स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द क्लास एज सिक्स टू ट्वेल्थ अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट एन सी आर टी इज गोइंग टू इंक्लूड कंटेंट ऑन इलेक्ट्रल लिटरेसी इन द स्कूल टेक्सट बुक्स एंड दे विल एडवाइज स्टेट एजुकेशन बोर्ड टू फॉलो दिस पर्टिकुलर सूट सो माई डियर फ्रेंड्स वॉट एक्जैक्टली विल हैपन विद दिस पार्ट इन दियर फॉर्मेटिव एजेस ओनली the students will get the importance of they will know the importance of voting and that's why they will really be prepared for their first vote and they will also be participating in this democratic festival of the country apart from that for the secondary schools see in the secondary schools democracy rooms will be set up in the senior secondary schools another very important part and what will be the impact with this we will be having active participation in the elections of these part people it will foster responsible citizenship among the citizens it will also reinforce our democratic system as more and more people will be participating in it so that was the very first topic that we were required to discuss which are relevant for both phase 1 and phase 2 let's move on to the next important topic that is the national efficient cooking program which has been launched and this is going to promote affordable and energy efficient induction cookers under this program my dear friends let me tell you that 20 lakh energy efficient induction cook stoves will be distributed pan or uh, nationwide apart from that another important program has been launched by the energy efficiency services limited and the name of the program is energy efficient fans program under which they will be distributing 1 crore efficient bldc fans and with this what they are trying to do basically these are those equipments which are going to use or uh, reduce energy consumption and that's how uh, the cost of them is also very much less as compared to the conventional equipments and that is the reason that they are also trying to empower the poor people as well so that they can use these kind of stove and we can have less uh electricity consumption in our country so my dear friends when i talk about the national efficient cooking program which is based on a clean cook scheme of the government of india so it has been it is going to introduce induction based cook stoves it offers a cost advantage of 25 to 30% over the traditional cooking methods and they will be deploying 20 lakh induction cook stove under this particular part we all know my dear friends that we are moving towards our energy transition period and we want to become net zero carbon emission country by 2070 and such kind of steps are really going to help india achieve their target so here when i talk about the next important topic that is the energy efficient fans program under which they will be focusing on deploying the energy efficient bldc fans with the goal of distributing 1 crore ceiling fans isse kya hoga jo hamare electricity bill se kam honge energy consumption kam hogi environmental pe 
एनवायरमेंट पे इफेक्ट पड़ेगा कंज्यूमर कंफर्ट इंक्रीज होगा और साथ ही साथ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बिल्स कम होंगे जो कि हमें बार बार भरने पड़ते हैं इलेक्ट्रिसिटी के बिल्स अब कम बिल्स आएंगे तो पीपल विल ऑल्सो बी हैप्पी अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट माई डियर फ्रेंड्स द फर्स्ट बेड ऑफ ट्वेंटी लैक फैंस अंडर द प्रोग्राम हैज बीन टाइटल्ड एज द एनर्जी एफिशियंट फैन प्रोग्राम लेट मी टेल यू दैट जब हमारी जी ट्वेंटी एनर्जी ट्रांजिशन वर्किंग ग्रुप मीटिंग हुई थी लास्ट ईयर गोवा के अंदर सॉरी इन जुलाई ट्वेंटी इट हैपन इन द गोवा उस टाइम पर ये वन करोड़ का जो टारगेट था हमारा सेट हुआ था और अभी 20 लाख नए फैंस के लिए यहां पर पहली बिट इन्होंने लॉन्च की है आई होप दिस पॉइंट इज क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू लेट मी टेल यू दैट दैट वाज ऑल फ्रॉम द पार्ट ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर पार्ट नाउ इट्स अ टाइम दैट वी शुड सॉल्व द एमसीक्यूज एंड वी शुड एब्सोल्युटली एनालाइज दैट whether we retain all the important information which you are required to cover from the exam point of view or not and the best way to solve it is my dear friends that is by solving the mcqs because in the exam you are going to solve the mcqs now i will be uh, thinking that yes it will only take few minutes for all of you in order to solve such kind of questions because we've already discussed them in a detailed manner so the very first question is basically on the costa serena you have to tell me that from which place it has been flagged off and by which year india is targeting to have 50 million cruise passengers i hope that it is very much easier for you to answer the question the right answer is mumbai for to 2047 by which india aims to achieve 50 million cruise passengers moving on to the next important topic that is the national efficient cooking program which has been launched recently so once again here three statements are being mentioned to all of you you are required to identify the incorrect statement so first statement is it has been launched by energy efficiency services limited which is the joint venture of psus under ministry of port shipping and waterways let me tell you my dear friends energy efficiency services limited hai to ye ministry of power ke under aayegi and it will not be under the ministry of port shipping and waterways that is why it is absolutely incorrect second statement states 20 lakh energy efficient induction cook stoves will be distributed nationwide that is absolutely right NECP is a subset of the clean cooking scheme. I told you that it is a part of clean cooking scheme, so that is why it is absolutely right. Right answer will be option A. That is only statement one is incorrect. Moving on to the next question. So the question is on the Foundation Day, which is being celebrated on first of November by the states and UTs. You are required to identify who county state has just now celebrated. Kya hai apna Foundation Day on the first of November? So options are Punjab, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu. My dear friends, we have already covered this particular part. And here once again, the right answer is Punjab and Andhra Pradesh who have basically celebrated. their foundation day on 1st of november as i told you total 8 indian states and 5 union territories have celebrated their foundation day on 1st of november recently moving on to the homework question now for the all of you so we have already covered such kind of topics my dear friends now it's also your responsibility as well to tell me what is the right answer to these homework questions that i have brought here so first homework question is on the electoral literacy to classrooms across the country so this is related with that particular mou you have to tell me the right answer in the comment section of this particular session now the next question of this particular session is on the g20 standard dialogue so you have to tell me that what exactly was the theme of this g20 standard dialogue so my dear friends it is really very very important for you to analyze that whether you have got the approach of solving such kind of mcqs or not and to test this only we are bringing these homework questions for all of you and i want all of you who is watching this session please make sure you are telling me your answers in the chat box in the comment section and become the shining stars of edutap so my dear friends if you are still new to our youtube channel kindly subscribe it and press the bell icon to receive all the latest updates of the courses and videos offered by us and we can also join our telegram channel to get the access to the pdf of the session and my dear friends if you are having any queries regarding this particular session please feel free to comment your queries in the comment section of the session apart from that you can also share it on hello@edutap.co.in you can also call us at 8146207241 and my dear friends you can also share your feedback that how exactly you have liked this particular session please tell us because on the basis of that we will definitely try to incorporate your points as well and we will make the next session more uh, interesting as well as more inclusive for all of you so that we can really help you for your exam preparation so thank you for joining us wish you all happy learning